Yeah, I just wanted to ask because, you know, of course, all y'all at like the same or pretty much, you know, right around the same stage in y'all career, you know, they always comparing you, you know, to Devin, Tank or whatnot. So I just wanted to ask, man, out of, out of Devin and Tank, which one of those fights stylistically you think could be a little bit more tough? I don't know. You never know till you get in the ring with somebody. Um, I think Tank is a better fighter than Devin, though. To from my from my eye, um, but uh, yeah, uh, I I don't know. It's hard to say until you get in the ring with him. Okay, then, but that's cool. But if I'm judging off a of past experience, I would say uh, Tank for sure. Okay, so on that note. Because of, just because of the IQ. Okay, and on that note, so you're saying basically if them two was to get in the ring, you would have Tank in that one? Yeah, I think Tank would be him. Just because of IQ, I think he's uh, smarter than him. For sure. Appreciate it. So this is my part of the question a little bit. I've been seeing some of the rumblings on um, with between you and Tank online, and Aaron kind of asked ideally, uh, what is the win uh, a timeable window for that fight to be made? You know, from your perspective, realistically, when do you see that fight potentially happening, if it if it happens? Uh, I think that me realistically, I think that um, shit, I think it could happen now. To be honest, but um, realistically speaking, I think that. After my fight July 6th, uh, we can get it on type shit. I think that I think the people just need to see me perform at the highest level again. And uh once they see that, I think um that's gonna be one of the biggest fights in the world. Okay, All I right, got so. another question too. Hey, I mean I got one more question. Um yeah, wrap how it, big... uh, make it short, bro, so we can wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, it's it's not it's not long. How uh how much emphasis are you putting on um putting on a much better performance than Frank Martin did against Artem? Like how how big uh, uh how big is it for you to really go in there and step on dude? I think he didn't perform that good, um, if you ask me about it, but um I am putting on the emphasis to make sure that I step on him. Uh it ain't even really about Frank Martin. Um I did see some holes in both of them in that fight, but truthfully speaking, uh me, like I said, me and my best is going to take care of everything um, that's going to happen that night. So, um, truthfully speaking, yeah, uh, I'm coming in there to, uh, to get right with uh, with Arda, man. Uh, he better come fully prepared. I'm not bringing this up to degrade you in any fashion, um, but, you know, are, are we going to be able to see you bring that dog out, you know, or, you know, redeem that fight in your next, in your next performance? Or um, do you plan on... You know, having that big fight where you know everybody could just uh, rest rest assured that 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 you are as skilled as you know we held you up to be. Yeah, I think that uh, y'all ain't see the best of me yet. I think that um, my prom years is on the way. Um, actually, my prom years should be this year. This this should be the year that I should reach my prom years. I feel like so. Um, I think that you're gonna get a a great performance coming July six. Um. And I think further on after my career, uh, I'm gonna be a lot to deal with for everybody. Got uh, Moose. Yo, what up, Shakur? Big fan. Uh, I just had a quick question, uh, two quick questions. So I tweeted you um, a few weeks ago saying you're gonna school Artem and you're gonna show how you're a different level than Frey Martin. And then you quote to him saying you're stopping it, usually stopping him. Usually um, you say you don't look for the stop. Is, is that mindset changed this fight? Yeah, it kind of changed just because of all the shit that I I done been through, um, all the critics and all the bullshit that I done um, had going on with with the fans and all this stuff about I'm not that guy. So, uh, yeah, it do change. I'm going in there with a, a killer mentality, and uh, he better be ready. Hey, hey, champ! I just want to ask you about uh, the unsung hero in your camp. Nobody really talk about uh, Antonio Leonard. Can you speak to what he does for the camp and for the team? Uh, yeah, that's my family. Uh, Antonio Leonard, um, shit, he one of the first people that found me, uh, before I had went, um, to the Olympics and stuff. Uh, he found me and, uh, he's just been looking out for me and been, uh, treating me like family and I treat him like family too. So, uh, I appreciate Antonio Leonard and that's my guy. I appreciate the champ. Yeah, I got you. Yo, what's up? Uh, thanks, Remy, for for the space, and thanks, uh, Shakur, for, for taking the questions. Excited to see you back in the ring on on July. I got uh, just two two quick questions. 
Uh, the first one is state of boxing. Can you speak on that in terms of from like a judge's perspective? Do you and the fighters or your teams have any kind of say or thoughts on what's been happening with guys like Tim Cheatham and all these kind of just bogus scorings at the end of fights? I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that? I think that boxing uh, is in a bad state when it comes to like judging. I think that um, it should be like a different type of criteria for judges. I think that as serious as I am about my job, when I'm going through these fucking six to eight week long training camps and going super hard every day, day in, day out, I feel like the judges should be held to a criteria of that type of um that type of uh lock in. I think that um they should really be focused and they should be uh they should really learn what they're doing because sometimes they they are hurting fighters and um they 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 taking people dreams away from them and, and sometimes fighters will get robbed and you won't even hear about them no more just because of the fact that they got robbed. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm speaking on that, do the fighters or their teams, the promoters, I mean, do you guys, are there talks on the back end happening about fixing that or, or is that out of your, your wheelhouse? I mean, that's more so the uh, promoters and uh, dumb people type job. Um, I'm not a promoter yet, so I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I haven't you, heard anything, no. Just one last one, one quick pr uh, prediction. Usyk versus uh, Fury, wh who you got? Uh, I got Tyson Fury just because of size. But truthfully, um, I think they was the same size. I probably will go with uh, Usyk just because how good he really is. But um, because of size, I'm going with Tyson Fury. Right, that's fair. Appreciate the, appreciate the time, guys.